Would you like a glass of port, sir? Oh! What a nice idea. Thank oh, you yes. very much. That's very civil of you. What's your name again? Wilkins, sir. Wilkins? Here we are, George. Glass of port. That's right. Thank you, George. Thank you. No, 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 don't take it away. Leave it there. We looked out. It has your best good health. On uh, my bill, of course. Ah, oh, even the port is as good as it used to be. Hundred pounds, did you say? You know, my boy, I remember watching a match here in this very table, same room, uh, for 500. I pretend I'm doing it myself now. 500 guineas, of course, not pounds, guineas. guineas. Yes, sir. Of course. Well, as a matter of fact, it started with a fellow called Alan. Oh, what was his name? Alan Quartermain. Was he playing billiards as well? No, no, no. He wasn't playing billiards. Alan Quartermain was in Africa. Downwind. Now. Sometimes I'm, I'm ashamed of you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm ashamed of myself, dear fellow. That'll be hard luck, old man. How about you, Henry? Care to play? No, 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 no. You still trying to beat him, Captain Good? Oh, no, never played me these days. You've been in dry dock too long. Afraid to take the water. Alan Quatermain. Good Lord, Quatermain. Good to see you. Well, uh, 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 come and have a drink. Have a look at this. Oh, African gold, for sure. It's not African in design. No, what else? Well, the the shape, the uh, the triangle. It uh, well, it, it looks Venetian. It is Venetian. I have it from the foremost authority in London. Yes, well, it didn't. Herodotus writes that the Phoenicians sailed beyond the pillars of Hercules to sow corn in Africa and to reap it before their return. Go on, what else? Well, the theory has it that some of them stayed behind to, uh, well, to find, to found the empire of King Solomon. Oh, where'd you get it? Farthest south I've ever been. 
Well, uh, that water, huge lakes. An old missionary, Mackenzie, was lost there 20 years ago. He talked about lakes like proof. We shall need some of Peter's money. Yes, and a, and a, and a navigator. Yes. We, shall, uh, we shall need a navigator. Absolutely not. Oh, come on, Goody, think of it. Africa. I am thinking. All that sand, indigestible food, all those animals. Absolutely not. Well, I, I, I tell you what I'll do. I'll play you. A hundred up. If you win, you get 500 guineas. But if you lose, you come with us to Africa. Oh, Henry, you're much too good for the captain. Why not give him a start? Say, what, 20 points in a hundred? I don't need a start. I'll play him level, any time. Ed, off you go. He's hungry. Can we bivouac or something? I can soon run out something nice on the old stove if you can shoot something. <laughs> I hope you can cook better than you can play billiards. Thank you very much. Out of the way, Miss Cutie. Fellow's gone naked. Too many hours under the hot sun. Often happens, you know. I ra rather like this. Yeah, I rather like animals. Medium rare. What are you doing? Smoking kippers. No time for levity, dear boy. This is the important part. More salt. No, pepper. This is a very special goulash I picked up in Hungary, handed down from the Tartars. Spiced with a few good touches. Ho, oh, oh, ho, good, good, eh? <laughs> I didn't know the Hungarians had a navy. Oh, Alan. You know, I could really settle in this country. I wouldn't. No, when this is over, I'd go back home and marry an English rose if I were you. Oh, no, 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 no. English roses don't, they don't excite me. No, I, 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 I rather fancy a Diana, a goddess of the chase and all that sort of thing. Don't you believe it? He'll marry the debutante of the year. Never mind the goddess Diana. Probably in St. Paul's Cathedral, she'd be sinking rich. He has the luck of the devil. Soup's on more pepper. You know, you're very lucky to have all that in front of you. I'm afraid I missed it. Ah. Ah. Oh. Well, it looks all right. It is all right. Far better than that raw meat over there on the fire. This is mazurka venison a la good. <laughs> Trifle too much pepper? I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Fire? <laughs> Everything all right back there? Yes, thanks. There's dynamite in that wagon. Do the boys know that? Well, if it goes off... We'll all know it. Charming. Well, 
Oh, boy. Keep close together. Don't spread out. A getaway. The cow up. Keep away from that edge.
Dance, bossy? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm too old for that. Captain Gould. Sorry, afraid I don't know the stand. Mr. Henry. Oh. Oh, 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 why not? Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Stop eating that native muck, Porterman. Try some of my antelope ragout. A la cordon bleu. Very special. Although I say it myself. Oh, well. Machine, of course. Ah, uh, just in time for tea. My darling. Up you come. Did you bring them? Oh dear, I clean forgot. You didn't. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
seen one like that before. Not even in Kew Gardens. If I sent one to Kew Gardens, would they name it after me? Oh, yes. You know, they'd probably call it Lilium Flossius Africanus. Would they? <laughs> Flossie, come along now. It's long past your bedtime. I'll bring you a lily tomorrow. Oh, God bless. Good night. Sleep well. Good night, Flossie. Yeah. Alan, the attacks have been worse since you pulled out that little necklace. W with respect, sir, your father would be away for weeks at a time. Yeah, he'd come back babbling, feverish, Bible in hand, gun empty. Did he say anything of, of what he saw? He said one day he'd never come back. That's 20 years ago. And your wife? Oh, she hates this place. We're leaving next month. Whatever. Excuse me, gentlemen. Souffle. In the middle of Africa. <laughs> Not too bad. Tribal frothy for my day. All hands on deck. Early morning tea, monsieur. Sorry, no time. Who the devil are you, may I ask? Do you take sugar, monsieur? One spoonful, actually. Oh, yes, yeah, monsieur. <coughs> voilà, monsieur. You're the cook. Hotel Crillon, Paris. Second entrée chef Alphonse. Trained under the greatest coffee, monsieur. Oh, that explains the excellent souffle. Merci beaucoup, monsieur. What would you like for breakfast, monsieur? What would I like? <laughs> Well, like uh, coffee, kidneys, kedgeree, toast, and marmalade, but oh, oh. In 30 minutes. After your bath, monsieur. Better than the Army and Navy. Ah, oh, Alphonse, uh, kidney, please. Rare. Morning, Goody. Good morning. Morning. Did he tell you where he was? The Hotel Crillon, Paris. That's the best hotel in the world. Yes. And the Bastille. Oh. What? What for? Murder. What? That fellow? Well, what kind of murder? Row over a woman. Crime passionnel, I believe they call it. How disgusting. What is this? Bossy. She's missing. So is her pony. Oh, my God. Where do you think she might have gone? Well, uh, she has this passion for wildflowers. Damn it, she's gone after that lily we talked about. Uh, did she see where? Yes, up on the mountain. Well, that's eight miles to the north. I'll come with you. Uh, uh, no, uh, Henry, uh, you must both stay here and keep a gun handy. Mackenzie, do you have a gun? No. I ride with the Lord. Oh, my God! Thank <laughs> you. 
kid, the little one. Now I'm Shobagas. Me, no saint. When I catch the leopard man, you'll see. Can I whip you up something to eat? I could do with a drink. Monsieur Quatermain, maybe it is not a good time to speak to you. But I, I want to go with you on your trek. What, you? Yes. yes. Well, why not, Alan? We, 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 could, we could do with a, a good cook. What? What do you say, Goody? Well, he's a fair fancy cook. I prefer plain cooking myself. Well, let's put it to the vote. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Say aye. <laughs> aye. Then it's settled. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I ever put my hand on this treasure, I go straight back to France. Eh? Uh, I, I buy my pardon. Oh. And I open the biggest restaurant in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you, Capitaine, what will you do? Uh, I've always fancied a fine ship. White sails, black hull, three-masted schooner. Always fancied that. <laughs> yes. And you, Sir Quatermain, what will you do with the treasure? Oh, well, I suppose I could do with one of those new elephant guns. Ah, uh, come on, sir. <laughs> Truly, why do you do all this? Oh, I don't know. To see what's on the other side of the hill. <laughs> I suppose. And you, Sir Henry, what about you? What do you want? Well, uh, um, well, uh, nothing, really. Huh? First, uh, caviar with, uh, vodka. <laughs> and then a steak wellington, eh? Uh, no, no, no. Carré d'agneau. Pas d'agneau. Carré de warthog. <laughs> yes, monsieur. <laughs> monsieur Alphonse, what about the wine? Well, monsieur, we will start with the Chavez. And then a Pomard 1836. 37? No, 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 no. I, I, 
I prefer the 42 myself. Ah, oh, monsieur. Très bien. We will have a 42. <clears throat> Let's go home. The stove here. Take it the stick away. The stick, the stick. Yeah. Oh, now, what have we got for dinner tonight? Thank uh, you. When you tell me what I cook, uh, I will tell you then uh, what you eat. Oh, no, I'll, I'll go and bag something for the pot. Duck, pig, pheasant, anything like that. Don't go too far, Henry. There's all ship shape. Now, what have we got here? Where were you, my little one? Ah. <laughs> Monsieur, you bring wine? Well, that's preserved, certain standard. Oh. <laughs> do we drink it now, monsieur? No, we do not drink it now. We wait until dinner. I'm just merely opening it up to allow it to breathe. Ooh. Now, where? <laughs> ah. Alphonse! Don't just use anything in that stove. What? It's a delicate instrument. Oh, c'est anglais. <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur, look. Oh, no! <laughs> Touch more pepper. Monsieur, French cuisine, one shape. Alan! Alan! Good day! Numzan! Numzan! Oh, he's not. 
house. Be careful. Be careful. Curtis! Where are you? Thanks very much. Uh, jolly decent of you. Thanks very much. Here's where we take to water, Captain Good. Oh, that's what I need. Tall ship, planks under my feet. <laughs> Them. Great so. The secret is in the whipping. Very fast. Very light. <laughs> Et voilà. Understand? Schlumbeil. Listen, Dr. Sick. Well, he, he definitely knows it. Yes, he's obviously seen it before. But they deny that it means anything to him. What's the trouble? He's willing to barter his boats for our horses, provided we leave at once. Oh, good idea. Vous parlez pas français. Parle pas français. Well, Isaac. Well. All right, three in the first boat. A couple dozen the bearers, Alcorn, and his stove in the second. Got that? Chop, chop. Now, uh, you look. In French, it is called a souffle. I don't know what it is called in English. Kunani, tuta jaribu kunanu atikotuni. Huh? How? Who? Una pendanini. Ataka jugo. Si fahamu. Tovu. Well, what does he say? Once the stove. Never. I, I tell you what, let him keep the souffle. We haven't time to eat it. Zungu. Kwa kweli ni unganga. Kwa sababu. Im dodo zako zina patikana. What did you tell him? He thinks it's magic. He can have his dreams come true. Uh-huh. Get the boat. Yeah. No, no, don't turn your back. Keep smiling. <laughs> what will he say when he discovers it isn't magic and all his dreams <laughs> don't come true? Huh? <laughs> What will he say? What what will happen when we come back? Who says we're coming back? <laughs> huh? Super, super. Monsieur! When do we stop? Be careful, Alphonse, or you may find yourself on the menu. <laughs> the damn thing. That's the point. Over to you, Captain. Thank you, dear boy. Hey, 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 hey,
Jolly well done. All right, down here. Start her up. Yeah, how do you get it m m moving? Well, try shouting at it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Falls. Here. Put that between your teeth, Henry. These damn things have to come out. How is the dear fellow? Oh, he'll live. I tell you, he's born lucky. If you call being maimed by a giant crustacean lucky. You're all right. That poor crab lost his leg. Yeah, but he can always grow another. Can he really? Yes. You see, crustacea are cannibals. Captain Good, what do you think is out there? If I knew where you we were, I might be able to help you. I wish to speak to your captain. We thank you for your help. Try and see if you can get him to tell us where we are. You are in the kingdom of Vendi. You speak English? How do you know our language? The old missionary Mackenzie taught us. Gonna be boarded, Yeah. have you ever seen anything like this? I've seen some old tubs in my time. It isn't Roman. It isn't Greek. Is it? It's Phoenician. Without a doubt. A few thousand years since ships of this kind visited England. Well, in the lands of the devils. Forbidden city. Well, I 
because I'm a stranger here, but I'd say that thing's going to blow its head off. Snakes around the front of our city. I wish I had gone to the Devil's Island, monsieur. And with the mountains in back, you certainly protect yourselves, Captain. If we had not protected ourselves over thousands of years, there would be no melosis to please you now. Hey. This is a pity. Let's hope we don't have need of it. I think we're about to find Gentlemen. out. When you are ready, you will please come with me. Excuse me, Henry. Hmm? Pepfa, queen ruler of Zuvendis, empress of all Phoenicia. You, sir, may present yourself. Sir Henry Curtis, ma'am, at your service. May I present Alan Quatermain, famous white hunter, Captain Good, Royal Navy, um, Slopagus, and our friend Alphonse, magician of the culinary arts. You met Seto Patris, captain of the guard. And this is Matawani, high priest of Zuvendis. The priests of Zuvendis have always protected the city have killed the strangers far from our land. We come in peace. You say you have learned to kill innocents with your leopard men, to frighten off any others who might come here. Yes. What are you hiding here? That's so important to you. They will enjoy the pendulum journey. They are strangers. They must die. Enough. No more. I command you. You hurt your leg. Oh, uh, it's uh, mending, thank you, ma'am.
Not an English rose, anyway, Henry. I hope no. Not quite camembert. No. Uh, <clears throat> Excellent substitute. <laughs> and the door's on the dark. Was it dark? Did you dine well? Uh, Thank excellent. You, well. Well. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. That's good. I'm sure you gentlemen wish to rest. And you, Sir Henry? Uh, at your service, ma'am. I would like to talk to you. has the devil's own luck. Mind you, I'd settle for the handmaiden. Excuse me. I didn't quite catch your name. I am never. I'm good. Uh, I mean, uh, my name is... Uh... You are good man? Uh, yes, that's right. Oh. <laughs> well, no, that's not exactly what I meant. Um, goodbye, good and holy man? Uh, no, uh, no, I didn't mean that. It's not quite what I... Yes, it's a language problem. It happened in Singapore one. It happens all over. You have a very fine city. Thank you. Our forefathers built it so many centuries ago. We have all but forgotten where they came from. Well, the Phoenicians were uh, great sailors, great merchants and adventurers. When they came, they stayed. But a terrible plague killed most of us. We had to bring local people into our society. On equal terms or perish. I see. And you instead of Patris... We are the only two left of the royal line. And we are half brother and sister. I see. After us, the royal line dies. Ah. Not the one the high priest demands that I marry soon. To set the Patris, if need be. Well, that, uh, that would be, uh, unwise. Yes, I believe so. I'm sorry. Will you pour some wine? Oh, but of course. I must compliment you on your command of English idiom. The old man, the missionary, Mackenzie, he taught me. He was my friend. Not the one who had him killed. Poison. Ooh. Really? Are you of royal blood in your own country? Well, hardly. <laughs> I am what is called an English gentleman. You have a palace. Well, it's called a hall, actually. It's in Yorkshire. How many slaves are there? Uh, well, well, we call them servants. Very well. How many of these uh, servants? Well, there's a butler. We have a butler. He's in charge of the house servants. Then, of course, there are the maids. Slave girls? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Slave uh, maids? Well, I don't know. Um... Uh, there's the upstairs, the downstairs, the kitchen, all told. Well, I suppose there must be a couple of dozen. Rather a lot. <laughs> you have a queen in your country, I think. The old man said this. Uh, yes, we do. A very fine queen. God bless her. Do you know her? Well, I have met her, yes. I know Tum Tum best. Tum Tum? Yes, that's a... Uh, Prince Edward, her son. I think you are very... What is the word? Modern. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I also think you're a very interesting man. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I must say, you do uh, ask an awful lot of questions. There is one I would like to ask. But not here. Mm, no. Do you have many wives? At home, in England? <laughs> Good Lord, no. I'm not much attracted to uh, 
English roses, you see. Do you not like women at all, Sir Henry? My dear lady, of course I do. Quite a bit, actually, uh, on balance, as it were. In the uh, right time and place, of course. And is uh, this the right time and uh, place? I say. I say. What is it? Is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just I want to see you. Really? Well, I'm not here to be dangerous. Oh. I said I had another question to ask you. And it is this. Why did you raid the dangers of the waterfall? The animals that live in the mountains. To seek out our secrets. Why are you here? Well, it's... Uh... It's very complicated, actually. Do you wish to conquer us? Good Lord, no. To make us slaves for your queen? Oh, certainly not. It's more like curiosity. Not greed? Well, I admit a man's soul can be stirred by a treasure hunt. When gold outweighs the soul, destruction is inevitable. Gold? The last centuries have been happy ones for the people of Zug and this. We have abolished gold, and therefore we have abolished greed. But is that possible? Yes. You see, after King Solomon took over this nation as a storehouse for his wealth, we fought many civil wars amongst ourselves. So a great peace had to be established. The treasure was buried without trace. The priests did this in order that no man would ever be tempted to gain possession of it or kill for it. It is lost forever. If the one who wants to find the treasure, he will reward a priest. They will become greedy. He will kill them or they will kill him. It will all start again, the killing. How can I, I help? Here's the map. Find the treasure. What? Find it and go. You're not serious. Tell me, I can trust you. My love. My Diana. If you had stayed, I would have made you my consort. Good night, Diane. Once 
consort? Consort be damned. The man who designed this map was a cartographic charlatan. Yes, well, it would help if I could remember my Phoenician better. But there seems to be a reference here to the sun of the meridian. Hopeless, dear boy, it's an enigma inside a riddle. Or is it the other way around? But short of tearing down the whole temple, what do we do? Well, the treasure was never meant to be found. We can't expect it to be easy. Here, let me see. Everything will fall around us. What is it? Uh, you want to something? Damn if I know, but that stone in the center there and three obelisks have to mean something. Route to E. Rush, my heavy. Route to E was one of the gods worshipped by, by King Solomon. The god with one eye. Uh, here, here, on the map. It's the, the sun, it's, it's, it's Zenith. Your information. In two minutes, it'll be known. That's it. What is? The obelisks are only a, a part of it. Exactly, Mr. The obelisks. The obelisks are a room. Random now. got a shovel? I know the Queen's wishes. I bring men to help you carry away the treasure. outside the city. 
A gun to Vala. since you're coming with me. Not this time. This time, I must make my journey alone. You can't. I've spoken. Corsi. Son.
Conspiracy. Let's go now. The gun to Bogotoy! A shagana rufishi! The capa togo! Uranda ne yevo! What are you saying to They must stay here. But the Queen will be back. Going to stay? Of course. That the Patrick will kill the few remaining priests. And then we will rebuild our city. Look for the last time. mountain takes away. Do not grieve for me, Sir Henry. Find an English house. That is the pass to the other side of the mountain. It is the route the leopard man used to take. Are you sure you wouldn't be better off coming with us? I am king now. Monsieur, uh, I think I want to stay too. My dear fellow, it won't be easy, Alphonse. Well, it will not be worse than the Devil's Island, Monsieur. Ah. And uh, besides, uh, how can they build up a civilization if they, if they don't know how to cook? <laughs> well, goodbye, Alphonse. Au revoir, monsieur. Good luck, Alphonse. Goodbye, monsieur Cossomé. And don't forget, sir. Patience when you are whipping up the souffle. Light and draw the... Et voilà. And uh, not too much pepper, monsieur. <laughs> Au revoir, monsieur. You're yeah, not a bad fella. Could have been English. Do you think anyone's going to believe any of this back at the club?
scores, no one in the club believed a damn word of the story. But he's a decent fella, Quatermain, a decent fella. Do you know what he did? He left this uh, medallion, I think they call it, left it to the club for the oldest member to have the privilege of wearing it. Perhaps you'll find yourself wearing it one of these days. Brother, a Manners. Now the club's going to the dogs. <laughs> 